Kevin Barnett, back in the Carbide 3D studio. We've had a lot of questions about Shapeoak 05 Pro and aluminum. Can it cut aluminum? Does a bear sh Previous machines could cut aluminum. The Shapeoak 05 is absolutely designed with aluminum in mind. When you're talking about cutting metals and other hard substances, you have to think about the overall system and where the failure points lie. The structure of this machine, it is not the failure point you're gonna find. Long before that, you're going to shatter the end mill, stall your spindle, or you're going to go ahead and destroy your work holding. A lot of you have been cutting wood and plastics with success, and you want to move over and cut some metal, you're a bit nervous. We have basic feeds and speeds that are quite conservative built into Carbide Create. Go ahead and choose from those, and then up it from there as you feel comfortable, as you get used to working with the substance. A few words to the wise if aluminum is your regular thing. You're gonna want three things. Number one, put air on your machine. 100% you're gonna wanna blow those chips out of the way to avoid shattering end mills, especially smaller ones. You don't wanna recut chips. Number two, purchase Carbide Create Pro and utilize ramping. It drastically reduces the amount of cutting forces on your end mill. Instead of a straight plunge, it slowly begins to go into that material. Can you do it with a plunge? Absolutely you can, you just have to be a lot more conservative. Ramping, worth the money in my mind. Number three, put a VFD on your machine. I know they're expensive. Sell candy bars, collect aluminum cans, work some extra shifts, sell some extra stuff, whatever you gotta do, this makes the CNC experience so much better. If you're cutting aluminum, absolutely I want it versus a router. Time for a cutting montage.